If you've got ME fever, there is a local spot where you can actually buy one. It's in Beverly Hills, and it's anything but a typical pawn shop. CBS 2's Crystal Cruz is live in Beverly Hills with more on this luxurious shop. Crystal? Hi, Rick. They have some unique treasures from the rich and famous, and tonight you can possibly pick up your own Emmy. This is an exquisite piece. Jewelry, awards. This is an Emmy award. Moon men. They're nice and shiny. Fine wines. This is a Stag's Leap cab from 1973. This isn't your average pawn shop. The bag business is a booming business. Beverly Loan Company and, of course, Beverly Hills. Close to 60 carats of diamonds. Deals in the unique and finer things in life like pricey handbags. This is an Hermes Birkin bag. I'm currently selling it for 12000 While some buy, others pawn. We've catered to directors, writers, actors, actresses who find themselves in a cash crunch. Hollywood's heavy hitters drop in to pick up fast cash, sometimes up to seven figures. But Jordan Tabak Bank won't drop names. I think there should be no stigma attached to pawn lending. I don't think it's an embarrassing thing. Hey, if you have a 10 karat diamond ring, you should be proud of that too. And if you need a loan against it, so be it. Rodeo Drive is not where you'll find this pawn shop. Nope, it's tucked away inside a private office building. We're on the third floor of an office building. People come up here because they know that for over 80 years, we haven't named names. Don't come looking for the backstories either. When pieces are so unique, such as this, I'm always hesitant to discuss them. Someone might have seen someone wearing this, and I'm just not going to talk about it. And he is not going to talk about it. I tried to pry out some little information from him, but he says, nope, confidentiality, big part of their business since the doors opened in the 30s. They now have stores across the country, including New York. I'm Crystal Cruz, live in Beverly Hills tonight. Back to you guys in the studio.